I got a word for you. And when I got a word, God says, speak, speak that thing. Can I tell you something? It did not work with them. It did not work with them. You probably clicked on this video because something ain't working with somebody and it did not work for a reason. God made sure that that situation, that person did not work out for you because you was a misfit. You don't fit in with them. You don't, you don't fit in with just anybody. You not just anybody. If you looking at this video right now, you are not just anybody, baby. You got gifts, you got talents, you got things you need to do. If you are hanging out with them and wasting your time with them and trying to fit in with them, you will miss your blessing. That's exactly how it happens. How many millionaires, billionaires, CEOs, money makers, people, period, who step out by their self and do a thing, who step out in their faith, they got a plan, they got a calling on their life, they got a certain gift that the people that they used to be with don't have. That's why they were a misfit. That's why you are a misfit. You got something inside of you that you can't waste your time hanging out with them lower level people. You are high power, baby. The Lord told me to tell somebody you are high power. See, this is the thing. When people don't accept you and they don't appreciate you or it doesn't work with them, it is for a reason. If it was, if it was meant to be, trust me, you will be around them. But nine times out of 10, it's not even meant to be for you to even be around them. You have to see it for yourself. You have to get mistreated. You have to get guided somewhere else. You have to get led somewhere else just to know that you are a misfit with them people. Them people is not the ones that is supposed to be in your life. Them people is not the ones that God wants you with. See, God wants you with people like-minded. When God wants you around other people, it's because these people that you with is not the ones for you. These people that you with is making you miss your blessing. These people that you with is making you feel like you're not the person that you are. In order to realize who you are, you have to step out from them, not fit in, and be by yourself. You have to be by yourself. Then you begin to come around other people who are just like you and then you're a fit. You fit in with them. But it's not about fitting in. God said you are a misfit because you are uniquely created by me and you're not supposed to be like nobody else. You're not supposed to be like the next man or woman. See, people don't appreciate you because they don't know who you are. It did not work for a reason. It's not your fault. Do you know that we face adversity and adversity means that good people go through bad things? Bad things happen to good people every single day. But the difference between someone who has faith in a goal, the difference between them, they keep on going. Somebody who don't have faith, they stop. They, they be all in a frenzy. They're all, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Because we've all been there before, right? But when we get up, and we get up and we start to, you know, have faith. We start to have faith and we believe in God and we start to ask God, what do I do? We start to evaluate our life. Those are the ones who make a difference. Those are the ones who knows who they are. Those are the ones who has a dream, a goal, something to go towards. All of these other people, they are out your life for a reason. They treated you like that because they did not appreciate exactly who you are. They treated you like this because they didn't know who you are. When they figure out who you are, they won't treat you like that. These people will pay. The Lord told me to tell you, these people will pay. They will pay for your trauma. They will pay for your mistreatment. They will pay for judging you. They will pay the price. The Lord said, but you bought with the price of Christ. So don't worry about them because they're going to pay anyway. They're going to pay anyway. When they see exactly who you are because you're not hanging around them no more. And God starts to create in you the power. God will transform you into the person that you need to be. God will do it. But while you're around them other people who treat you like a dog, who treat you like you're a doormat, who treat you like you're nothing. You won't find out who you are. God said, get away from these people. Get away from these people. How dare them? How dare they treated Jesus like they did? You are gonna go through a time of solitude. You're gonna go through a time of being by yourself because you need to get in alignment with God anyway. You can't do nothing without God. You can do nothing without God. 
anything. You can't do nothing without God. That's facts. So think about the people who pushed you away, who drove you away, who told you you got to go. Think about the people who pushed you away, who drove you away, who told you you got to go, who told you you should stop doing what you're doing, who told you you wasn't good enough. Those people don't know you. They don't know you how God knows you anyway. Why be around people who treat you like that and who look at you like that? Why not be where you need to be and trust God so that you can be the person who you're supposed to be anyway? Because why are you hanging out with them? You won't even become the person that you're supposed to be. God said, I will help you. I will guide you. Pray to me. Call on me. Trust on me. Call on me and trust on me, says the Lord. I'll help you. They won't. But I'll help you. God ain't playing about you. But they, they playing with you. Them, they're playing with you. Other people, other people who you don't fit in with. Oh, yeah. They don't care about you. When they figure out who you are, they will pay. They will pay the price. They're going to be coming back crying. They're going to be coming back begging. They're going to be coming back saying they told you so. They're going to say, oh, I knew you was that type of person. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, I'm about to do what I need to do now. Can you help me? You're going to be so busy doing what you do. I don't even think you're going to have time for them. You are a misfit for a reason. Accept it. Accept it. Don't feel bad about it. Do not feel bad about it. It's time to step out in your calling. It's time to step out to be who you're supposed to be. Go through that time of loneliness. You always got God. Ask God to bring people to you. He will. But those people, they got to go. So be happy that you got this prophetic warning. Be happy that you know that just because you didn't fit in, that don't mean that it's the end for you. Actually, it's the beginning. It's the beginning of a new blessing, a new you, a transformation. God got you. I'm telling you, be happy that they pushed you away because you do not fit in with them anyway. I love you guys and God does too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.